Welcome to another geometry video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we'll be answering some questions on triangles. The prerequisite for this video is one step and two step equations, and also knowing the properties of triangles. If you're not familiar with any of these, we encourage you to watch our videos on those topics. Before we look at our questions, we want you to know how you can support the channel and get some exclusive perks. You can join the Ultimate Algebra membership at the supporter level and help us create more videos. Or you can join at the video access level and get exclusive, members only videos. You can also join at the all access level and get direct access to us through text and email. Your support will help us make more videos and help more people pass their tests. Click the join button below this video or the link in the description or pinned comment and let us help you and others succeed in math. Okay, let's take our first question. Question 1. Which of the statements below best describes the figure? A. It's an obtuse, isosceles triangle. B. It's an acute equilateral triangle. C. It's an obtuse, scalene triangle. D. It's a right triangle. First we see that different marks are used for each of the sides signifying that the sides are not equal. So this is a scalene triangle. With this, we can see that the answer is option C already. We can also tell it's an obtuse triangle because one of the angles is more than 90 degrees. So it's an obtuse scalene triangle. Question two. An isosceles triangle has two of its angles being 56 degrees. What is the measure of the third angle? We know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. We have been given two of the angles as 56. Let's call the third angle X. This means that 56 plus 56 plus X equals 180. We solve for X. 56 plus 56 is 112. So we have 112 plus X equals 180. We solve for x, this is a one-step equation. Subtract 112 from both sides to get x equals 68. So the third angle is 68 degrees. Question 3. Let's try something harder here, just to get you thinking. An isosceles triangle has one of its angles being 56 degrees, which of the following are possible angles in the isosceles? This will definitely not be asked in a standard test like the GED, but can be asked on a geometry test. If one of the angles of an isosceles triangle is 56 degrees, there are two scenarios. The first is that you have been given one of the paired angles. If that is the case, then the solution is just like the previous question. The other angle will be 56 degrees. We can call this other angle X then solve for X just like the previous question to get the third angle as 68 degrees. So we know that 56 and 68 are possible angles. The second scenario is that the 56 degrees is the angle that is not part of the pair. In that case, since the other angles are the same, we can represent it with x. So we'll have 56 plus 1x plus 1x equals 180. We add the x. We have 56 plus 2x equals 180. We solve the two-step equation. Subtract 56 from both sides to get 2x equals 124. We finally divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 62. So the two angles are 62 degrees. This means 62 is also a possible angle. This is therefore our answer. Question 4. Find the measure of the angle below. Here, the first thing you have to identify is that this is a right triangle because of this mark here. This means this angle is 90 degrees. We know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can add 40 plus 90 plus B, and this must be equal to 180. 40 plus 90 is 130. We have 130 plus B equals 180. One step equation. Subtract 130 from both sides to get B equals 50 degrees. There's a faster way to solve this, but knowing how to solve it by adding everything and equating it to 180 is so important I don't want to even teach any other way. 
This will ensure you get the answer correct no matter the twist. Question 5. Find x given the triangle below. Questions like this is the reason why I like the setup of adding all the interior angles and equating it to 180. We add up the angles. x plus 20 plus 2x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 equals 180. We add all the x terms. 1x plus 2x plus 2x to get 5x. Then we add all the numbers, 20 plus 10 minus 5, to get 25. So we have 5x plus 25 equals 180. We have a two-step equation. We subtract 25 from both sides to get 5x equals 155. Then we divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 31. We could have been asked to find the actual angles. In this case, we would replace the x in each of the angles with 31. So for the angle x plus 20, we will have 31 plus 20 to get 51 degrees here. For the angle 2x plus 10, we will have 2 times 31 plus 10. This will be 72 degrees. And finally, for the angle 2x minus 5, we will have 2 times 31 minus 5. This will be 57 degrees. We can see that when we add these three values, we will get 180. We will end this video here. Have a great day. See you in the next video.